my Gemini, my Yanny Yang Gemini. Happy birthday. In fact, let me sing y'all the, the, the mocha remix. Because you see, I came to y'all crazy, sexy, and cool. That's normal. I here enjoying this H time weather in my booty shorts, acting like I don't know how to. Hey, I, I, I ate that cabbage and got ahead of myself. You understand? Yeah, I don't know how to act about this thing. But we ain't going to talk about that thing in me. Let's talk about it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Bad, bad contest. Who in first place? You in first place. Gemini, you in first place. <laughs> bad, bad. You better know you in first place for these mid month Junes. You understand? So let me go ahead and bust y'all y'all mocha remix on the birthday song, okay? Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday, so do you. <laughs> if they hating, tell them screw you. Happy birthday to you, my Gemini. Let's get it. You understand? This will be from the, fir I'm sorry, the 15th to the 30th of June 2018 I came outside because I had to kick some flavor it's it's being in the house these days ain't really my biggest thing I've been really connected to nature plus my Venus is in Gemini and with all this Venus energy rolling on around it's time to manifest and receive this love okay so and these coins okay so I feel that even before I even pick up these cards so with that being said this is for my sun, moon, rising, and cross watchers, and Venus, I'm sorry, Gemini, okay? Um, if this was your first time viewing my channel, hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. On this channel, we keeps it real, we poke tea, we family, and I cuss. I might cuss a little, I might cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell these cards say. You understand? So, Gemini, I know y'all be having shit to do. I'm not going to hold y'all for too long. <laughs> I did y'all first, okay? So we're gonna get it rocking. Look at me, Mocha is still on time. Ain't y'all proud of me? <laughs> I'm trying to work out and everything on thing else and still find time to be on time, work out, look for a job, all kind of stuff. Still find time to be on time. This girl is smooth. This girl is moving, okay? Shout out to my girl. Um, she's on Instagram. Her name is at Natural Market. I'm going to put the link below. Y'all go check her out. Go shop from her store. She's a fellow Gemini, might I add. Y'all go support your people. That's my baby. She's going to send me a few things. And I'm just really grateful. But I really want to see her business bloom and grow. Okay? And so, uh, this goes for everybody. If you have maybe an online business or something like that, please, by all means, don't be ashamed to send me no link. If you support me, why can't I support you? Recepti reciprocity. I'm an Aries. I believe in that. Let's get it. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and cross watchers. Gemini. Spirit, please. Thank you. The messages. I told y'all about that coin. For, ooh, okay, what's going on, Gemini? For <laughs> sun, moon, rising, and Venus and cross watchers. For Gemini. For mid June 2018. Hmm. A lot of y'all are trusting your intuition about making a decision on which way you want to go with the coin. But the coin is there. The coin is in the building, okay? And for some of y'all, the coin is coming through this new beginning that if you have not already uh, begin to see or work or, or put this into fruition, you better trust your intuition and get your ass moving, okay? Because it is going to bring you abundance, my dear. Yes. I've been hearing this a lot of people on Facebook. I mean, it's Facebook. On YouTube, stealing people readings and whatnot. So I don't feel bad or not bad about not showing my cards because I'm nobody got time for that. I'm an Aries. We don't play that shit. Okay, I see a lot of y'all in y'all head having toxic thoughts about this new beginning and chasing what it is that y'all want. A lot of y'all are going to be in y'all heads mid my June. Okay, I know I want to move toward this. It could even bring me the coin. But nah, I'm going to sit back and wait and see what Keisha said about it because, you know, maybe Keisha ain't a go-getter like you. Maybe Keisha can't go flip the coin and bring it back like you bring it back, Gemini. Okay? Keisha ain't got that. Keisha ain't got that quality because Keisha ain't a damn Gemini. Keisha ain't shit. Kisha got the job because she knew somebody, and her ass show up late to work every other day. She can't tell you nothing. Get out your own damn way in the middle of June, okay? I'm not for this. Let's get it, Gemini. Y'all know y'all family. I'm keep it R-E-A-L. Y'all are my babies. Really? You got the fall all on the... 
Yes. So whatever it is, some of y'all have just recently started a job or recently started working in something. Some of you guys could have recently started a business or will be starting a business mid-month, June. And whatever it is that you touch, that you put your little finger on my baby, it's going to flourish. The divine says to all of my mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus. I'm sorry, not Taurus. Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius. Will you trust me? What it is that you'd feel in your butt, in your belly? Will you make the damn move already? For some of y'all, some of y'all could actually be getting a promotion, possibly to be uh, a manager, a supervisor, or a boss, or maybe um, possibly some type of administrative uh, promotion. I do see a lot of y'all are starting y'all own businesses, and it will flourish. Go ahead, Gemini. Just trust your blessings. Some of y'all, let me get into this love fact of this. Right, some of y'all are actually getting the coin and getting these financial blessings, possibly after trusting your intuition um, regarding a fire sign that is giving a little love over here and a little love over there. Love over there, back there, around the corner, and down the street, okay? Um, this is toxic as fuck. Some of y'all are starting anew with the Capricorn, or possibly had a decision to make between a fire sign, Aries to be exact, and a Capricorn, or this was happening to you, okay? For some of y'all who are dealing with um, a Capricorn, okay, reciprocity is going to be very important. It's going to be very important that you build, that you set boundaries as far as stressing that shit, because if I see here, if you allow this new person, this new person is actually, they came in in the midst of a healing period for you. And a lot of y'all are going to be sitting still. And some of y'all mid my June are going to be half-ass making a decision. But some of y'all are going to juggle. Okay, some of y'all are going to juggle a Capricorn and an Aries. But some of y'all who are not dealing with um, an Aries or Capricorn, some of y'all are going to juggle possibly a Pisces or a Sagittarius or a Cancer or and an Aries, okay? This Aries showed up very, very strongly or can I mean or Capricorn. But they're in the building. This could also be another earth sign that maybe you recently met, uh Taurus or Virgo as well. If you recently met them and this person is a boss, please don't tell people when they try to help you, Gemini. Because people I see a lot of blessings coming into your world with reciprocity, with people giving to you as much as you give to them. Please don't stand in your own damn way hollering. Oh, no, I don't need that. I got it. It's okay. Don't block your blessings from God. They can come in any way, form, shape, or fashion, but don't stand in your own way. Hell, you can use that money to invest in your business if somebody else is helping to pay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, fellow Yang. Get it together. Get it together, okay? Gemini season about partnerships. Duality. Some of y'all are trying to work at a relationship with a counselor, but there's an Aries in the way. Some of y'all are, some of y'all, a lot of y'all already know this, but seeing is believing, okay? So I do see that she wants to offer this person um, a new beginning, but you know I don't really read reverses, but Spirit is telling me to keep it, so I'm going to keep it. You wanted to offer this person a new beginning, um, a new leap forward, possibly you and this person could have even talked about business ventures, going into business together, or uh, collaborating of some sort, Um for some of y'all, this person could be a boss or someone that you work with. However, an offer is not getting off the ground because somebody's not making a decision. Somebody is indecisive as hell. What is the problem? Okay. And it's because we're going from mid-month June. Okay. We're going into a new cycle. For some of y'all, you're definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. Or Sagittarius will be a big uh, portion of your life. Uh, and the, for the remaining for the remainder of June, uh, from now until I'm sorry, I say now from the 15th to the 30th. Y'all, what is going on today? You know what's going on with me? It's like I'm here, but I'm also on another dimension. It feel like I don't I don't know what's going on, but it's crazy because my intuition is booming. But Lord, what's going on there? Is it focus? Are some of y'all having issues with focus and finishing what you started? I'm finishing. I'm feeling that too. Finish what the hell you start. You never know what's going to grow from it. Some of y'all are going to be making 
beautiful things with your hands. I do see if you do work with your hands, it's going to be a very prosperous month, especially if you already have a business doing anything with crafts work. Uh, if you fix things, um, mechanics, uh, people in the medical field who maybe put together medical charts or something like that. Um, if you work in any field of law, um, any type of judicial system, this could be um, for the police station, um, child support office, um, uh, this could be the courthouse, this could be uh, child, child protective services. This month is going to be a very reflective month. It's going to bring you a lot of blessings, and I also see that maybe... Um, some of you may have extra work, maybe because of a boss, maybe possibly getting sick, or maybe a boss. Something with a boss. If your boss gets sick mid-month, you may be actually asked to carry out more responsibilities to kind of fill in the fill in the work that is. I guess I, I don't know if you guys are gonna have to split work somehow, but you may be required to take on more. And some of y'all gonna feel like this is not fair, but what you don't know. This is actually somebody's watching you. This is a blessing in disguise, okay? Um, depending on how you do, how you respond to taking this offer, um, don't take too long to make a decision because this is not an offer that's going to last forever. It's going to be one of those opportunities that is now or never. So make sure you are off your ass and on your feet, okay? All right. Some of y'all, I feel... You're getting your coin together, mid-month, June. You're getting your coin right. And all of these people from your past just keep appearing like little fucking walking zombies. Like, what? who are you? Who sent you? Like, I feel like a lot of y'all like, who sent you? Who sent you? I don't want you. Return the sender. The fuck? Some of y'all gonna juggle and, you know, deal with these options, okay? However... A lot of y'all are waiting for your Ten of Pentacles, but you're not going to get that if you steady walking backwards. If you keep looking back, you're going to miss what the hell is walking right in front of you. You know, what's looking you dead in your face because you keep looking back. If the past has showed you who the hell they was, believe them. Okay? I ain't going to tell y'all that no more. 15th to the 30th June for Gemini. I'm going to rise and go this High Priestess. Okay. Some of y'all are trusting y'all in the wishes. Some of y'all are stalking. And in stalking, some of y'all, if y'all haven't already mid-month June, y'all going to be finding shit. Y'all may be going on people's social media. And possibly this person hasn't been contacting you, haven't been speaking to you, especially if you're dealing with a Leo or another air sign. This person haven't been contacting you. They haven't been, or you could also be dealing with a um, Pisces, Cancer, or a Sagittarius. Okay, um, this person, you could be stalking them and watching their social media, possibly watching their partner's social media. You're going to come across something, uh, maybe, that lets you know why this person has not been answering your calls. And some of y'all is going to be pretty pissed about it. Some of y'all is going to be psychotic pissed. Don't end up in the back of a police car with your crazy ass. It's your birthday season. Some of y'all were possibly being juggled or will find out that you were being juggled by possibly someone you have a family with. And possibly another fire sign. Or maybe you are making a decision. Some of y'all are actually having to make a decision about reuniting a family of some sort. Okay, some of y'all have to make a decision. Um, something around family it could also have to do, especially if you have family or you have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your family. But there are going to be new beginnings. Um, possibly if you're thinking about going into partnership with a fire sign woman. Some of y'all are kind of debating on it, like, uh, do I trust you or not, nah, bitch? What, do I trust you? I do see that this is going to bring you prosperity. If you don't trust your own intuition, because I'm pretty sure y'all not already seen dreams of the business growing. But, all right, so some of y'all will be actually, it's going to take this heartbreak. Some of y'all are going to turn your pain into power mid-month June, okay, from the 15th to the 30th. Some of y'all are going to use... Um, a situation where you feel totally stabbed in the back, okay? Um, and if you, I feel like I'm talking to my writers, okay? My writers, any type of artistic creations, y'all gonna use this shit, and that shit gonna flourish more than you ever know. Because you're taking a leap of faith, and you're doing something different, and you're using your creative gift for good, versus ending up in the back of a police car, okay? All right. Spirit, please clarify the devil, my Gemini.
the devil, the high priestess. So some of y'all are in y'all head about some shit. Some of y'all are sticking with toxic situations where you already know, okay, that you already know this person has secrets. You know this person is full of deception, okay? For some of y'all, this person could have Capricorn in their sun, moon, or rising, okay? Um, but there is something that you, you you know it intuitively. I feel like you just got to see it, okay? You could have a Capricorn also stalking you as well, watching what you're doing. Yeah, secrets are going to be any secrets, okay, that, um, that are around work, especially if you just recently started a job. Um, I feel like there's going to be a major layoff mid-month of June for those of you who just starting a job. And a lot of y'all are in y'all head about, oh my gosh, I just got fired. I just, you know, got here. I need this job. I got to pay my rent. I got to pay my car note. I got to do this here. Get out your head. Get out your head. Get out your head. You will be fine. Okay. However, um, there are secrets about work. If you didn't know that they were going to be firing people, um, I feel to tell the, the Gemini who's always late, this mid-month June, you better be on time because you got a boss, some, someone that's going to be evaluating you behind um, behind the scenes. And your punctuality, they are marking it some way or they are recording it because pretty much they're helping you bury yourself. So if you're one of these people who have an issue with work, you just feel there's some, some shady shit going on. You don't know quite what it is. You just know that is going on, you are absolutely right, especially if you have a Pisces um, boss or if you just recently started dating a Pisces or a Scorpio or Cancer, possibly in the last three months, three weeks, there are secrets around this person possibly having to do with an Aries. Okay, Spirit, please clarify the Emperor card for Gemini. Two of them fail. Yes, okay. Two of them feel I'm going to take them both. This person, if you want them, this person has not been contacting you or maybe their contact has been like kind of faint. It hasn't been like normal. This person has been giving you the attention. They are trying to be, because this is definitely an Aries or Taurus, okay? But I get strong. I've touched this card even with the Emperor. I feel this is an Aries and this is, some of y'all have been left out in the cold due to possibly a soulmate relationship this person looks at this person as their equal they look at this they look at this person this person could have possibly left them out in the cold before and i look at this as like they didn't want to miss an opportunity um however this is possibly somebody who you could have depended on for finances this could be a this is a baby mother baby father um this is somebody who y'all kind of went half on shit y'all gonna be having to uh Find y'all way out of no way in certain situations, but no worries, the coin is coming. This shit has to get the, hit the fan before you see your coin, okay? You're gonna have to heal before the coin, okay, baby? Spirit, please clarify the Six of Pentacles. For some of y'all, this is a karmic partner. You're dealing with a cancer, Pisces, um, Leo, um, Sagittarius. This is karma. However, there for some of y'all who was left out in the cold from a um, Aries or a water sign or possibly a earth sign, they're actually working on a new beginning, y'all, elsewhere. And I'm going to be honest with you, from the 15th to 30th, you will be finding out about this person starting a new and possibly um, giving into another household that's not yours or... Uh, there will be reciprocity. If you just recently met somebody new, y'all, and they're an earth sign or maybe a new fire sign, a new fire sign after all the bullshit, okay? Trust that, especially if you had reci uh, reciprocity issues in the past with your partners that was more of you giving. Be accepting this month. You can have whatever you like, okay? A lot of y'all have a cancer that's being defensive towards you or you being a defensive towards an offer that's being made. An offer is not getting off the ground. For some of y'all, it is the um for some of y'all it's the end of a karmic cycle. Okay? I do see y'all wanted to offer this person a cup of love. For some of y'all, this person was actually juggling you and um that Aries or that Taurus. Uh possibly because I feel like that area that Taurus is this person's wish, okay? 
It's their wish fulfillment. This is like the person, this is like that guy, that girl to them, okay? And this person just kind of came in by storm. They seen the opportunity, baby. And they, they came in, they went storming, okay? With that with that passion and that fire, okay? But some of these, especially if you're dealing with a cancer that has earth and um, fire in their chart. Because I feel strong emphasis on cancers. Yeah, it's the end of a cycle. This person is your soulmate. Or it's possibly this cycle had to end. Cause this, cause for some of y'all, this is your karmic partner, Gemini. Okay? Um, and it's the end of a karmic cycle. For some of y'all, it's acknowledgement too. It's not about stalking. Don't stalk. Have strength and talk. Speak your mind. Let this person know. Because I feel like a lot of y'all are internally or will be internally not speaking up for yourself even though you know what's real. Even though you know this person playing you, even though you know what it is, you know the secrets that this person has been up to. Like, you've seen it. Your eyes have seen it at this point. And you still, like, taking they shit. You deserve more. You deserve more. And it's your season. You can have whatever you like. You understand? So don't settle for nobody who is obviously, even with this King of Rods, how he looking? He looking at this emperor and this empress. He looking at what he lost before. So he going to go get it. Okay? If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they could have, a Sagittarius that recently dipped off um, and came back. And they like, I changed and I did this. So like this person does still have secrets that could also include another fire sign like yourself, Aries Leo. I mean, a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, not like yourself. Look, y'all, I was doing good without the bloopers. Okay? <laughs> but, um... Y'all, it's, it's definitely about knowing who you're dealing with, okay? This is the end of a karmic cycle, okay? Because for some of y'all, y'all have, y'all got two aces here, okay? After, crazy, after the end of the karmic cycle with your soulmate, okay? The base is the ace of pentacles, okay? That's after the ace of wands, Okay? And whatever it is that you were passionate about, whoever, whomever you were passionate about, some of y'all could expect a little heartache mid-month. Somebody going to stab you in the back. Possibly somebody who you recently started dating if they're a fire sign. They could be air sign like yourself. They could be a cancer Pisces. Some of y'all definitely dealing with Sagittarius and Aries or someone that, you, that you're dealing with. Um... Maybe have Sagittarius or Aries in their chart, but I definitely feel like this ain't no Aries in the chart. This is the Aries that's competition. Y'all speak up for yourself. Let this person know what you know. Don't do it in a crazy way. Be tactful because it's all about self-respect and self-love. Know what you will and will not accept and love yourself, sis. Love yourself, bro. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all birthday season. If you need a personal reading, all of that. This is general. General from the 15th to the 30th of June. All of the information for a personal could definitely be found in the description box. And again, y'all go check out my girl's Instagram at Natural Market. Okay? That's my girl. She got some nice stuff up in there. I even went being nosy with my stalking ass. Okay? Yes. Miss girl, Uh, when the Friday after the Friday come, I'm going to have to hit your ass up and charge it. Okay? I love y'all, Geminis. Much love, much light, many blessings. Get out your head, on your feet. Trust the process. Happy birthday, y'all.